Hello fellow mystics, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Diaries of a Lunar Soul. Okay, so I hope your week went well. Mine is going on okay. It started out pretty good. I'm in a good mood. Anyway, so today's reading is a couples therapy reading. And the reason I'm doing this reading is because for the past seven days, why did I say seven? Anyway, yeah, for the past seven days, maybe seven is a significant number for some of you. Anyway, okay. So for the past seven days, the divine masculine energy has been coming into my dreams. And he's been trying to tell me something. But for some reason, I always wake up not remembering what he said. And that is so not me like I remember every single dream that I have or rather I remember every download that my guides or the energy of the collective that I'm getting comes through in my dreams but for some reason the messages that the masculine has been telling me in my dreams I've sort of forgotten them I have no clue what he's been saying I remember the interaction but I don't know what he's saying so I was wondering how come why why is this happening what's the deeper meaning and then I realized the reason I'm not remembering what the masculine is saying is because the feminine energy is ignoring the masculine. <laughs> the divine feminine is sort of avoiding talking to the masculine for some reason. We don't know why. So that's the reason I'm doing this reading. But the divine feminine energy is sort of avoiding talking to the masculine or hearing the masculine out and that's why i'm not remembering those dreams because the feminine is sort of closed off from the masculine but the masculine coming to my dreams every single night for the past seven days means the masculine really wants to express a certain emotion to the feminine and he really wants to do it but the feminine of course is closed off but it also means that the masculine is not expressing that emotion or is not being clear i'm getting a sense of this feeling that the masculine is a bit indecisive in how he's approaching the feminine and that's why the feminine is sort of like uh -uh, you, you you seem a bit confused i i, I don't know what you want so i, I don't want to hear what you want to say right now but what's coming through is yeah the masculine is indecisive with what he wants to tell the feminine he doesn't really know himself what he wants to tell the feminine he feels what he wants to, to say but he's not communicating his message so clearly and that's why I'm, I can't remember those downloads because he's communicating the way he's communicating to me it's not clear yeah and another thing that my guides are sort of showing me is that the feminine is unconsciously rejecting or ignoring the masculine because it feels like there's a decision that the masculine has to make and it's to do with the relationship but the feminine is scared that the masculine is going to make a decision that doesn't involve her so she's like i don't want to know you know like that saying ignorance is bliss the feminine is unconsciously scared that the masculine might choose something else other than her and so she feels like if i don't know what he has to say then things are not going to change the status quo is going to remain the same okay so she's unconsciously putting the masculine at a distance so that she doesn't know the truth like she wants to say stay in her ignorance because staying in her ignorance is gonna maybe keep the the things the same she doesn't want things to change she's sort of scared and it's because in the past the masculine has chosen something else instead of the feminine so the feminine feels like oh my god this is the same scenario again he's about to choose something else instead of me so <laughs> why not keep it at bay and not talk to him talk to the masculine because if i don't talk to him then i won't know the truth and yeah he wouldn't be able to choose something else but the energy the masculine is in right now he's like uh -uh, i have to say i have to speak up i have to speak up my emotions and for some reason i'm sort of getting this feeling that what the masculine has to say is not something scary 
in fact i feel like it's something that the feminine will like to hear but of course the feminine is scared yeah but the way the masculine came through in my in my dreams it's not something that will cause separation between the two of them sorry someone is people as usual around me banging doors anyway <laughs> yeah so it's not something that will separate them but the feminine is scared but the masculine really wants to tell the feminine the truth and in fact that reminds me in one of those dreams i had this image th the masculine gave me this image there were two masculines and then one masculine was giving a box like you know like a ring box to another masculine and that other masculine was thinking that it's a ring inside the box like a, a wedding ring or something like that yeah but then when that other masculine opened up the box it was a home it was a lovely lovely home you know like this arts and crafts things where you can open it up and it forms into a different thing yeah yeah those things i don't know what they're called but yeah so that energy there the the two masculines is my spirit guides trying to show me how the masculine is not communicating what he wants one of them is holding a ring the other one is is saying no it's a home so what do you want masculine and the feminine is picking up this indecisive energy and she's picking up this indecisive energy and is scared that because you're indecisive it means you don't want you won't choose her because she feels like if you were decisive then you'd know that she's the one for you okay so that's a long introduction but i sort of felt like creating that context before we do this couples therapy reading and in this first part of the reading i'm going to tap into the masculine's psyche and just know what's going on with him yeah and then in part two i'll tap into the feminine psyche okay but in this particular reading we'll start with the masculine and see what that divine masculine that has been coming in my dreams wants to say and i'll use a i'll use a celtic spread celtic cross spread celtic celtic cross spread and yeah see what comes through i have no plan in mind i have no messages in mind so we're just gonna be free flow oh and guys this reading is for you can also choose to look at this reading from the perspective of your inner masculine energy so as much as i'm talking about the divine masculine in form of another person we all have feminine and masculine energies within us the yin and yang so you can choose to look at this aspects in in regard to the one that's inside of you and as well as the other person okay all right so let's see what does the masculine want to tell the feminine or what is going on in the masculine's mind and i'm curious to know what's gonna come through so yeah so celtic cross is 10 cards so i'll just shuffle the cards lay them out and then i'll describe what what each card is what question is referring to each card of pentacles i haven't done this type of spread in forever for ages okay divine masculine please come through guys it's so windy those are too many cards divine masculine those are too many cards do i want to pick them yeah let me pick them and then let's see let's see let's use this as a crossing card the card for there yeah so i haven't done this spread in a long time but it's it's one it's one of the best spreads to do when you want to get a, a, a big picture like view of what's going on with someone the divine masculine okay so feminines <laughs> if you're a feminine you're watching this you've been avoiding your masculine you've been avoiding him trying to duck <laughs> having a conversation but the masculine is like we have to talk okay the devil I 
and if you're single this reading is still for you okay it could be your future energies remember these readings are timeless so even if this is a couples therapy reading it could be i'm picking up your future energy readings or it could be that i'm picking up your inner masculine energy okay okay you can go get some coffee or <laughs> popcorn because this is going to be a long reading i have a feeling as i shuffle the cards but i'm about to finish anyway i've started my arranging the deck <laughs> oh gosh okay final card final card masculine talk to us Okay, final card, Queen of Pentacles. Is everything in the frame? Yeah, everything is in the frame. I'll pick the other guidance cards later. For now, let's work with this. Okay, so let me just tune into the energy and then I'll explain what I'm getting. Okay, so in this part of the Celtic cross, this card, the first card is really like what's going, what the theme of the reading. Yeah, the first card in the Celtic cross is really the theme of the reading like what's going on in the present moment and you got the four of pentacles in reverse so the message coming through here is the masculine is feeling a little bit overwhelmed overwhelmed oh my gosh what message is coming through here four of pentacles okay so the masculine is a bit guarded that's the no 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 actually you know what this is the feminine and the feminine is holding on to her past right she's grabbing her past like nope i'm not giving you i'm not giving you what i have right now <laughs> yeah like she's holding tight onto that card so that message coming through is the masculine is feeling like the feminine is a bit guarded that's the theme of the reading what he's thinking about is that the feminine is guarded the feminine is protecting herself have her self-worth because pentacle is about money so he's feeling like the feminine is a bit distant from him and she's not showing him the love or affection that he's used to getting it's like he he feels like the feminine has lost interest in him for some reason <laughs> yeah he feels like the feminine has lost interest in him so the theme of this reading is that however the masculine is acting whatever's going to come through here is that there's that energy of that disconnected because the feminine feels like the masculine feels like the feminine is is disinterested in him and because of that he's finding it a little bit hard to get work done because four of pentacles is a card of you've done your work and now you're you're starting to see this the beginnings of your fruits of your labor yeah so he, he's having a hard time with work because what's on his mind is the feminine but the feminine is 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 not allowing th his thoughts about the feminine feeling like the feminine is distant from him is making it harder for him to accomplish his daily duties and work <laughs> like you're running through his mind and so he can't think about anything else other than you and that's why this ten of cups is here and remember guys here when i'm saying that the masculine cannot accomplish his goals you have to remember one thing 
the divine masculine and the divine feminine are both good on their own like they're powerful on their own they don't need each other okay they don't need each other the feminine can do her job perfectly well without needing the masculine and the masculine can also do his job perfectly well without needing the feminine but when a divine masculine connects with another divine feminine when they come together when they work together like they create such a powerful force and anything they touch turns to gold like they become this Midas touch yeah and problems can come along their way but because of that power couple dynamic that powerful energy they emit when they're working together any obstacle that comes through them through their way is nothing it's peanuts it's th there's no obstacle they can't overcome when they're together but the energy here is that because the masculine the feminine is a bit detached from the masculine like isolated and distant from the masculine for some reason the masculine is finding it really 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 hard to get his work done so if you guys are looking at this from the perspective of your inner masculine look at an area in your life where you've been trying to accomplish a project but that project has been taking forever for you to complete which is not normal because you're used to being all the projects you start usually end very quickly like you get inspiration and you get motivation to complete those projects and you if you're writing something things just come th words just flow but for some reason these past days if you've been having a hard time getting into the drive driver's seat and just doing things it's because your masculine energy is feeling like your divine feminine energy is detached from from them and because of that detachment because of that disconnect he's finding it really hard to accomplish his goals because like i said he is much stronger more efficient more effective in everything that he does when he's with he's in communion with the feminine energy okay so that's the theme of this reading the masculine whether you're looking at it in form of another person or the yin or the yang energy within you is having a hard time focusing on his work because all he's thinking about is the feminine the feminine who's not <laughs> who's distant from him disconnected isolated and as as i've said before the feminine is disconnected because the feminine is scared she's scared that the masculine so it's weird it's funny the feminine is distant because she fears what the masculine is going to tell her like she fears that the masculine is going to leave her and the funny thing is the masculine all he's thinking about is the feminine so the feminine in this case is being delusional because he that's the only thing the masculine is thinking about right now and i'm sensing with this so with this ten of cups this is what this is the energy that is the masculine is thinking about like this is what is thinking about a family with the feminine creating a home a lovely home with the feminine this is what he wants with the feminine so the feminine thinks the masculine might walk away from him from her remember this him her she thing is just me referring to the masculine and feminine energies okay this reading is not gender specific anyway so what he is thinking about the energy that he is emitting right now within him all he's thinking about is having a family with you starting a family with you making something solid with you okay but i suppose he's not he's he's not clear in how he's communicating this wish that he just wants a happy home with you so for some of you if you're in a relationship and you've been feeling a little bit disconnected the reason your masculine wants to talk to you it's not to let you go it's not to break up with you it's he wants to talk to you to ask to to communicate his emotions and say hey i think we need to change a few things like this and this and this so that we can be happier okay he doesn't want to separate he doesn't want to leave you feminine <laughs> So it's interesting that's what's on his mind you are all that is in his mind that's you're the only thing he's thinking about and right now 
I'm getting this song that the masculine really wants me to to dedicate to the feminines who are watching this reading. He's dedicating this song by Mario. It's called I Choose You. So just go look for it on Spotify or whatever wherever it is at or YouTube wherever. I Choose You by Mario. It's a really cool song because that's the energy. He chooses you. So if you were scared that he wants to talk to you because he wants to walk away. No. He chooses you. He's choosing you. And then with this page of cups in reverse. And the page of cups usually is a card of... Sometimes the page of cups can be too emotional. Moody. Cranky. And it came in reverse. So I'm thinking that the masculine is is not is not able to communicate his feelings towards you because he's not used to being feeling this emotional this feeling of emotions this ten of cup feelings that he's just thinking about you and setting a family that's not normal for him it's not him usually like he has emotions but he's the type of person who he doesn't usually express his emotions or he's 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 locked that part of himself away for so long that he doesn't know how it feels to really feel emotional about something you know so that's the thing that's why he's not communicating properly like his emotions he's emotionally overwhelmed like he doesn't understand what is going on with me how come the only thing i'm thinking of right now is this feminine why can't i think of anything else he doesn't understand this is something new to him okay so feminines if you've also been feeling like he's a bit distant he's distant because he's trying to understand gosh you know like head in the clouds seeing pigs fly like he's just fantasizing about you and for the life of him he can't understand why all of a sudden am i so emotional i'm used to being someone who's logical like i can i can detach from my emotions very easily but for some reason right now i can't the only thing i'm thinking about right now is my feminine and starting a family with him i mean with her and not even just starting a family but being with her being in a committed partnership your masculine wants to commit but he's a bit scared because this is a new territory for him so some of you i'm sensing that your masculine is has been single for, for for a while because this card is in his past the ten of pentacles your masculine has been he he was in a relationship at some point but that's in his past and i'm feeling like that's a a long past ago like it's a while back and it's ended and he's not thinking about that part of him anymore. He's not. So for some of you, if you're worried that your masculine might leave you and go back to someone else or his ex or whatever, that's not happening. That's in his past. It's in his past. He's not thinking about that. And when, when that relationship ended, he sort of decided, I'm just going to be a bachelor. <laughs> I'm just going to be a single guy, you know? Like, I'm not going to focus so much on, like, being committed in a committed relationship. But right now, he is caught off guard because he's starting to feel like he wants that commitment again, that committed lifestyle again. He wants someone to love. He wants someone to start a family with and kids, <laughs> which is something so out of his character. And... He just can't for the life of him. He can't understand what's going on with him. And that's why he's in. He is coming off as a bit indecisive. Like he, he, he doesn't know how to come forward to you and tell you what he wants to say. He doesn't have the words to express his emotion. And he's trying to find out. So how can I express this emotion? Okay. And with the ten of wands here upside down. And this card here is... Um, the question in the Celtic cross spread is what are his crowning thoughts he's getting the ten of wands in reverse the crowning thoughts is basically 
what's on his mind yeah when what's the one thing that he's thinking about as i've said he's thinking about you but also with the ten of wands he's let go of the mountain here okay so his crowning thoughts are he's he's a little bit scared that if he opens up himself again because he really does want to open up himself but if he opens up himself again he he's scared that it's gonna be a burden again like i think his past relationship took a toll on him his past relationship was really really draining it drained him drained of him of his energy he cause 10 of wands yeah like it really drained him like it took a while for him to get over that past relationship it took a really long time and he's come a long way see from the mountain from the top down yeah he's come a long way from that other past relationship and so he's like oh my god if i start this journey again of being committed to someone else i'm sort of worried that i'm scared that i might end up in that situation again he's he's questioning whether is it worth it yeah with the ten of wands is it worth me taking on this burden again is it worth it are the troubles that i'm going to get myself into with this new relationship because all relationships are going to have um problems right but he's he's sort of questioning himself is it worth it is it is it worth me living this lifestyle that i have of being single and then going into a partnership with my feminine is it worth the trouble so that's what he's thinking about is it worth the trouble and in the near future in the near future the nearest future like probably eight days from now he got the eight of cups yeah i said eight days because of the eight of cups and that what the message coming through there is okay so yeah in the near future you know what he's gonna do he's going to he's decided he will decide to go towards his happiness can you see the 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 sun is here the sun is the hap- like in tarot the sun card is the happiest card in tarot right and this person is walking towards the sun so i'm sensing that this is person is walking towards the 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 their happiness and they've left something that they they really it's like this is an intention so the message coming through here is that whatever decision he makes like what i've just said he's he's questioning himself and wondering is it worth it whatever decision he make he will make sure that that decision is based on his highest fulfillment is me going with my feminine the 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 option that will give me my the happiest bliss yeah <laughs> this is something like happiest bliss but you get what i mean he will choose because this is an intention he will set an intention and say i'm walking towards my happiness whatever happiness that is i will walk towards it and right now with the queen of pentacles here as the overall outcome his happiness is you divine feminine your his happiness he's going to walk towards you he's chosen you and probably that's why he told me to to give you that message i mean that um song that dedication i choose you he's chosen you feminine he's chosen you you're worth it even if you're you're melodramatic and with all your drama let's say if you are like he's like it's worth it that button <laughs> it's worth it i'm choosing my happiness my divine feminine is my happiness that's what he's right now he hasn't yet come forward yet yeah but 
his immediate decision right now is he's chosen he's chosen you feminine you're his happiness you're his happiness these fears which is with the devil card here he's overcome his fears okay he's overcome his fears about being emotional <laughs> thinking that am i being too emotional he's overcome that he's like to hell <laughs> pun intended the devil upside down to hell let me be emotional if being emotional means it will bring me closer to my feminine the queen of pentacles and he sees you as someone who's very stable and grounded the reason he's coming towards you is because he you just heal him he feels at peace with you are you seeing how serene this woman is he feels at peace with you you're his peace you're his happiness with all this green energy he's healthy with you and that goes back to what i said that when a divine masculine connects with a divine feminine energy that they, they become a power couple nothing they nothing can stop them they become this healthy relationship dynamic like they become those people who other people look up to because their relationship is so healthy and balanced like this queen of pentacles a, a relationship that is grounded any small problems that they have they're just tiny things that they can easily just sit down and talk about it and that's why when i was saying the energy i was picking up was the feminine was scared that the issue that the masculine wants to talk about is such a big thing but really it's not a big thing <laughs> it's just that he just wants to make the relationship better whatever it is that he wants to tell you he wants to open up himself and tell you how he feels and tell you what things will make your relationship better he just wants to express his emotions to you but he's a bit awkward with how he's expressing that emotion or he's acting a bit weird and funny because he's not used to feeling emotional he's not used to feeling it's a completely new thing it's like even you when you're when you're trying something out the first time let's say if you're learning a dance move you'll you'll move in an awkward way for the first few days right until you get the groove of the dance style and then now you your body now just naturally moves so right now he's a bit awkward because he's still trying to figure out and navigate those emotions okay feminine but he's chosen you and that's what he wants to tell you but you for some reason you feel like he's choosing something else or he's about to choose something else nope he's chosen you and that's what he's saying and that's what he wants to tell you so feminine stop stop holding back open up open up and listen to him sit down it's time for you guys to sit down so it's good that i did this couples therapy reading because the masculine has been able to express his emotions to you through me to you yeah that he wants you he chooses you you're his happiness you're his grounded energy he feels safe and protected and calm and at peace when you're around and now he just wants to make that more solid he wants to make that more com he wants to make it up a, a sealed commitment you know with this queen of pentacles is a card of bringing something into tangible benefit okay it's a court card so he wants to make it legal whatever relationship you guys have he wants to make it legal yeah and practical like tell people this is my woman <laughs> okay so he's he's done he's he's not he's not gonna let his emotions he's not gonna let his fear of being emotional and i've done another reading about the masculine i think his shadow self his shadow side is that he has a hard time expressing his emotions so go back to my playlist catching up with love you'll find a reading there where i talk about i i channel a message from the sh masculine shadow self and yeah you you understand why he has a hard time expressing his emotions or is a bit awkward expressing his emotions it's something new to him he's learning he's just opened up that aspect of himself and he's not yet comfortable being open with his emotions but he loves you feminine he loves you you're all he's thinking about to the point where he can't work <laughs> he cannot do his job he can't concentrate you're running through his mind and then 
in the this position what this card asks is that what is what is around him ace of cups in reverse so external environment around him like i said the environment he's been in has always not allowed him to be to ex to express his emotions like i think he he's surrounded by people who don't allow him to express his emotions and uh, for some reason i'm getting this message from my guides that the way he's been brought up in his from his childhood is that a man should not be so emotional you know a man should be rational and logical and follow your logic you know don't let your heart control you if you guys can hear sounds in the background i swear guys are just racing cars outside <laughs> so it's so noisy anyway so i hope it's not too loud for you guys so he's been with this ace of cups in in reverse in the energies around him his environment this masculine that i'm tapping into has grown up in an environment where he was taught that being emotional is a sign of weakness and he as a man he has to be logical he has to be practical he can't let his heart rule him because his heart always just causes trouble and drama you know <laughs> like love just being emotional just makes things too complicated and that's the environment that he's been raised in so that's why he's finding it very weird that right now all he's thinking about is his emotions it's not something he was raised up as but right now he's chosen to follow what he feels he's chosen to follow his heart and you're his heart feminine that's what he's saying see with this three of wands he's chosen to step out of his comfort zone the three of wands is a card of stepping out of your comfort zone and this girl is just waiting for the tide to go down and then she'll she'll go and surf yeah so he's still not coming forward yet because he's still waiting for the right time but he's decided to step out of his comfort zone okay feminine because he knows if he steps out of his comfort zone he will meet you he will see you you guys will reconnect again he knows he needs to tap into his emotions so that you guys can have this happy family life together okay and that's what he's decided to to do he's chosen you feminine okay so once this reading ends please make sure you go and listen to that song by mario i choose you he is dedicating that song to you okay feminine right so let's see what messages his guides have for him for the divine masculine what messages do you have for the masculine spread guides what messages do you have for the masculine energy take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill didn't i say this guys that <laughs> your masculine has been he's been having a really freaking hard time concentrating on work that's what i said right like you're all he's thinking about you're all he's thinking about and he's been trying to concentrate on his work but things are just not going the way he wants them to go so that you know what the the, the guys are saying right now <laughs> you can't think straight all you're thinking about is your feminine so you know what just take a break masculine take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill okay just honor your emotions that's what your 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 guides are saying masculine feel those feelings that you're feeling and another message coming through here is in the past when he's been emotional like this he's been hiding himself in his work like he's been using work he's a workaholic so whenever he gets emotional he uses work as a way to forget those emotions but now the the guides are saying nope you can't do that anymore and that's why you you're unable to concentrate on work the way that habit that you used to to do of using work as a way to escape your emotions you can no longer do that you need to feel your emotions you need to feel them you're in a phase of your life where you need to feel them and they're saying so take a break from your usual activity of workaholism 
and feel those emotions that you're feeling think about that feminine until you sleep <laughs> daydream okay that's what they're saying they dream about her if you need to because you need to tap into that part of yourself that is emotional because that emotional part of yourself is that your inner divine feminine energy and when you tap into that inner divine feminine energy then you become balanced within yourself your yin and yang energies are balanced and when your yin and yang energies are balanced any project you undertake in your work will flow more smoothly <laughs> smoothly oh my god what is happening to my speech will flow more smoothly okay that's what they're saying you're having a hard time completing that project because your inner yin and yang energies are out of balance and it's because you've been trying to avoid your emotions trying to avoid feeling your emotions so your guides are, are, are advising you masculine feel those emotions and once you feel them you'll integrate you'll come back to harmony of yin and yang energies within you okay so feel those emotions let's get another message from the <laughs> from your spirit guides message from your spirit guides to the masculine boundaries yep what do you need to establish ben better boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries so same thing you guys have been overworking you've been giving 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 and not receiving and the way your guides want you to receive in this in this reading is they want you to receive your emotions the, the way you'll receive is through your emotions feel those emotions okay feel those emotions feel them stop overworking yourself just allow yourself to take a break if you guys have been working this whole week your guys are saying for the next one week just take a break take a break masculine and think about your feminine <laughs> take that time to connect with your emotions okay connect to that divine feminine part of you once you connect with that divine feminine part of you your yang, yin energy then once you go back and do that work that project that you've been trying to accomplish you'll have way more inspiration because now your yin energy will be boosting you yeah so i'll repeat remember guys when i said i said the feminine and masculine energies can can operate on their own the independence they don't need each other but when they're together when they work together they're so powerful something which you would co accomplish in two in two weeks you'll accomplish in two days because those yin and yang energies within you are in sync okay no obstacle is big enough when those two energies within you are in sync so that's what you're being told integrate your feminine energy you've been giving 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 is a masculine energy okay the yang energy you've been giving away too much are you seeing all these hands are taking 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 from you and you've forgotten to nurture yourself masculine you're not taking care of yourself you're giving too much to other people now they're saying it's time for you to focus on yourself focus on that happiness your happiness okay and your happiness is thinking about your feminine or talking to your feminine if you guys are in a relationship take her on on a holiday take a holiday a one week holiday and just enjoy each other okay indulge in your emotions masculine if you don't <laughs> things are just gonna get harder that's what your your guides are saying with this ten of wands here your work is just gonna get harder you need to take a break you need to take a holiday go somewhere go on a trip leave the country leave the town and go with your emotions take your feminine with you okay you feel calmer and more energized when you come back okay masculine that's what your guides are saying then let's get a final message from your divine feminine in the 5d a message from your divine feminine i'll do the part two of this which is the divine with the feminine energy but just now i just want to get a final message from the divine feminine in the 5d what oh my god those are too many cards please <laughs> spirit those are too many cards feminine the feminine really wants to talk okay i am the dreamer of my dream you know what your feminine is saying keep dreaming 
didn't I say that? Like daydreaming, just head in the clouds, dreaming about flying pigs, head in the clouds. Your feminine is saying, I can see you in my dreams, masculine. I can see you in my dreams. I see you in my dreams. So keep doing what you're doing. Feel feel your emotions. When you feel your emotions, I'm seeing you in my dreams. And I started this this reading by saying the masculine has been coming in my dreams, right? Well, that's that's what your feminine wants to tell you. Keep dreaming. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. So for you guys, for guys who are in separation like you're not together with your masculine or you're single and you're trying to manifest a relationship your feminine is saying i'm seeing you in my dreams masculine so keep doing what you're doing you tapping into your emotions is helping me see you in my dreams it's helping me connect to you okay and then one last final deck card from the feminine I am the loving energy of the universe. Didn't I just say this? That she is in your 5D realm. I am the loving energy of the universe. So here she's telling you when you tap into my when you tap into your emotions masculine, you're connecting to the universe. You're connecting to the cosmos. You you're you're being becoming one with the universe when you tap into emotions so don't be scared to feel your emotions that's what your feminine energy is telling you and this is the feminine energy within you okay this is the feminine energy within you the 5d feminine energy within you it's telling you dream fantasize about your feminine and when you do that you're connecting to the universe the moment you are connected to the universe that's when all your all your dreams come true because you're one with the universe most of our manifestations don't come to fruition because we're not in the same frequency with the with the universe okay so when we're in harmony with the frequency of the universe our dreams our dreams become a reality in an instant it's not a matter of of months or days the universe does not know time the universe knows frequency so if masculines you've been trying to manifest something into this reality your feminine is saying you can only achieve that once you integrate your feminine energy because once you integrate your feminine energy your emotions your yin energy because you're so good at being in your yang energy now you need to learn how to be in your yin energy then you'll be able to become one with the universe and all your dreams will come true your dream of this happy home with your feminine will come true that project that you've been trying to concentrate on but for some reason you can't get the inspiration to complete it will flow more effortlessly but you have to tap into your emotions feel those emotions okay i am the loving energy of the universe right okay so i hope this reading has been of some help and you've taken even if it's just one message from it that's good enough so if some of the messages here don't make sense just give it a few days and then come back and rewatch this reading at a later date you will definitely get more messages here okay so with that said let me head on over to the feminine reading and see you there i hope so and see you in my next reading bye